What's up everybody, Austin Dunham back from the cruise and back with more calisthenics fitness workout content. Are you guys excited? Guess what today is? That's right, Q&A Sunday once again, hashtag AskAD. Gonna answer these questions right here. I know it's been a while, but we're gonna get to it. And by the way, if you haven't seen the vlogs, which I posted in the past week when I was on vacation, you should totally watch those. And lastly, I got a lot of cool videos coming soon. Maybe even a motivational video. All right, so the first question is by Starros, and he asks, when are you working out your abs and your push-pull leg split? All right, so this is how I got it set up, right? On Mondays, so I work abs all throughout the week. Mondays, I work obliques, so I divide my abs into two parts, the obliques, and like the main section of your abs. I, do, I don't do upper lower part of the abs. I just do your abs and obliques. So like I said, Monday I do obliques. And Tuesday I work just normal ab exercises. So like your dragon flags, leg raises, this like that. And so uh, for example, I do three sets of obliques on Monday. This would be probably side planks or side crunches or maybe even human flag raises. And then Tuesday I do dragon flags um, and leg raises, three sets. And I repeat this for Thursday and Friday. So four times a week, working abs, I split into two parts, obliques, and just a normal ab section. Okay, the next question is by Piotrek Productions. He asks, do you add weight to push-ups and pull-ups? And okay, um, first off, push-ups. I do not add weight to push-ups. Uh, usually I work out by myself, so I find weighted push-ups pretty hard to do and kind of awkward, so I don't do that. I just stick to uh, changing the leverage of the push-ups. So y'all know I do uh, planche push-ups. So like leaning in, pseudo planche push-ups, stuff like that. But with pull-ups, actually I alternate between weighted and uh, training for the one-arm pull-up. So just two weeks ago, I was doing weighted pull-ups and I was trying to work my way to 100 pounds for five reps. But uh, since I got home, I stopped doing weighted pull-ups and now I switched to training for the one-arm chin-up again. So it's according to my schedule and what I'm doing, but always I usually do either weighted push-ups or just one-arm chin-up training. And he also had another question and he asked how to avoid the chicken wing muscle-up. So if you're doing a chicken wing muscle-up, in my opinion, that means you're not ready for the full muscle-up yet and you still need to be training your pull-ups and explosive pull-ups. When I was training for the muscle-up, I never started with the chicken wing muscle-up. I my first muscle up was actually a legit muscle up and I did and I did this by working my pull ups all the way up to like 22, 22, 25 reps in a row, in a row, yes. And my explosive pull ups, I didn't stop until I got like 13, 15 in a row. And I have a muscle up tutorial which I show you everything I did to learn the muscle up. But that's what I would do to avoid the chicken wing muscle up. Like I said, if you're doing that, that means you're not ready for the full muscle up and you need to uh, continue to train your pull-ups. A username by the name of uh, 4 million views, that's pretty cool. Uh, he has calisthenics or weightlifting. All right, 4 million views, you tell me. A person by the name of Cult Toolsy asks, do you do neck exercises? And uh, does it look like I do neck exercises? Because honestly, I do not do any neck exercises whatsoever. The only thing I can think of where I probably train my neck when doing floater kicks, you know, when your legs are up and you're going like this. Other than that, uh, I guess this is from handstand push-ups and pull-ups, I guess. And the last question is by Adam, and he asks, how much can you bench? And Adam, uh, obviously, I don't weight lift, but I have benched before, and this was uh, four months ago. Around four months ago, I did a bench session, and I might, I might do a video testing my maxes out. So if you would like to see that, hit a thumbs up. My max bench press is around 230 pounds. Now, let's do the math here. I weigh 156 pounds-ish, benching 230 for, it felt easy too, so I could probably get like three, two reps, but I only did it one time and I just stopped. I'm not sure how much percent of my body weight, but I think it's pretty good, honestly, for not ever benching and only doing push-ups. Maybe if I trained bench two, everything went proof. I don't know, but you know, I don't weight lift. But that's your answer, 230 pounds, roughly one rep four months ago. Pretty sure I'm stronger now, but I might do a video on it, like I said. All right, everybody, that concludes today's Q&A Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Remember, as always, leave your questions down below with the hashtag AskAD, and I'll be sure to answer your questions for you. 
and more calisthenic videos are coming soon i got a motivational video coming like i said so subscribe thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video peace